Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the Eye of Chaos series, where I pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for that investigator, and do my best in the Midnight Mass scenario. Uh, this time, the uh, lucky or unlucky investigator will be, let's see, doing a good shuffle this time, so we'll get. Father Matteo. So that's interesting. I'm not sure if the um, Arkham DP takes into consideration of the 5 XP we get with Matteo. But um, let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com and build the deck for Matteo. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamDB.com and we'll just search for Matteo. There he is. So let's create a chaos deck for Matteo and see what we get. So um, a bit of loading there, but it is what it is. The net here is sometimes a bit fiddly. So I'll just push the chaos button and see what we get. Okay, well, it seems we have zero experience in the deck, which is a shame because Matteo really needs to utilize that extra XP. So uh, first off, uh, we'll look at the assets. So we have the Blessed Blade. Um, well, uh, not the best item for Matteo. Let's see what else we have. We have Sign Magic. Well, um, looking at our Arcane, that is pretty much useless. We have Tonian stone. Uh, that could be good because we could um, steal one of the uh, bad signs in the bag. There's only two, so this could be good to get into play. Uh, then, of course, we have the Codex of Ages, which is the signature. Uh, Azure Flame, so at least we have one combat spell. Uh, Clarity of Mind, uh, Horror Healing. Okay, another uh, combat spell Wither. That's Decent for the one health cultists. Uh, ropes of endless midnight, so or endless night. So if we don't have a lot of uh, spell events, this is pretty much a dud. Then uh, in the ally slots we have uh, four allies: two Olive McBride. Uh, this could be good. Um, Alyssa Graham. This could be interesting. And Arcane Initiate, so we can fetch some spells if we have any. Then we have the Blood Pact, which isn't that good, uh, because... Well, uh, there is a tight timer in this scenario. Well, uh, let's look at the event. So, Eldritch Inspiration, not liking that. Uh, two Ethereal Slips, so this could be actually good for Matteo. If we can't fight, we can at least run away and uh, hand of fate no well some blessed tech in the deck but not that much open gate times one useless except for the icons parallel fates not good uh, spectra razor that's a good spell uh, tides of fate mm, well not good uh, Voice of Ra, some economy spells there. Uh, Ward of Protection, always good. Uh, Ward of Radiance, unless we get some uh, blesses into the back, pretty much useless. Then we have Fearless, not really good. Overpower, Perception, well, it helps us to investigate at least a bit. Uh, Promise of Power, this is a really good one, but Unfortunately, only one in the deck. A reckless Assault, not good in Matteo. And our random basic weakness is, and if I get something that is a campaign related, I will reroll, but it is haunted, so that works. So that is the deck. So next up, I will build the deck. And after we have built the deck, I will start playing. So uh, well, nothing else to say, but we'll build the deck and 
then get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. Uh, we have the deck built up, the encounter deck shuffled, so let's draw our opening hand. I don't have high hopes for Matteo, but we'll see. Hopefully we get at least two cultists, so we don't completely botch the scenario. Okay, well, the Codex of Ages, uh, Fearless, Overpower, the Ketonian Stone and Open Gate, so Open Gate. PLS and overpower get booted right away. I'll keep the rest. So we'll draw two. And uh, we get a Ward of Protection, Promise of Power, and Heavy Purse. So at least we have something for the start of the scenario. Okay, well. At least Matteo can ignore one auto fail if we draw one. And turn it into uh, auto or elder sign. So there is our deck shuffled. Let's see. I still need to grab my action tokens, which I always forget when setting up this uh, game. So we have uh, the action. So first action. Um, I think I'll play the Chthonian Stone. Why not? Let's get rid of one of our bad tokens. So, uh, the tablet is worse, so we'll grab that. We don't want to grab a skull, so let's see. Where is the tablet? It's... Oh, there it is. So we seal the tablet onto the Chthonian stone makes our deck a bit or or the chaos pack a bit more manageable then uh, and we don't risk losing our clues i think second action we will try to investigate and i won't commit anything we want to play the correct of ages maybe we don't We'll play it next round. We want to move away if possible. Uh, I am only one up, but I don't want to waste my uh, promise of power for this test yet. So three versus two. It is a plus one, so we get lucky. We grab this clue. Last action, we'll move to River Town. One shroud location with one clue. Easy pickings for next round, hopefully. And that is everything. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw Alyssa Graham and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. The first encounter card of the game is a locked door. That's the location with the most clues and without the locked door. So no, uh, River Town is locked. So there, uh, bye bye, easy clue. I think we'll just forget about this location. Uh, uh, I think I'll save up for Alisa to get plus one intellect. So first action, we'll move to the graveyard because it's a low shroud location with two clues and a victory point. Then we'll test willpower three. If you fail, you must either take two or or move back to River Town. So we'll. Happily take the two horror, that's no biggie for us. So testing four versus three. Minus four we fail, but we'll just take the horror. Uh, second action we'll investigate. Uh, I still don't want to commit anything. So we'll just investigate uh, three versus one. Zero. We'll grab a clue. We'll investigate again. Three versus one. Skull is a minus zero because there are no qualities with doom on them. So we'll grab that clue. That ends our turn. We ready up. No enemies will go to upkeep. We get tides of fate. Uh, useless card. Well, it's a wild icon and we gain a resource. So 
That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Two of six. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Mysterious Chanting. So we'll search for a cult as well. Uh, we'll just grab an Acolyte. I think we need to go pun punch this Acolyte with the Promise of Power. We shuffle our Encounter deck. Then uh, we'll spawn the Acolyte. Um, mark it. We'll spawn it to River Town because we need to get rid of it. And it gets a Doom on it. Okay, uh, first action. We'll spend two clues to reveal the topmost card of the suspect deck or whatever <laughs> Wolfman drew. Well, of course, the worst for Matteo can't fight. So, Wolfman drew spawns there. Second action. Uh, I really wanted to play Alyssa here, but I'll just uh, move to. River Town, the cultist engages us, we'll punch it. We are three versus uh, two versus three, so I'll play uh, Heavy First, Tides of Fate, or that's only plus two, so we'll go all in Promise of Power. So we are six versus three. It is a zero. We punch this acolyte out so we get to remove the doom. And oh, yeah, now we, we should have added one curse to the back, but it is what it is. Well, it's there now. No enemy. Well, Wolfman Drew is not a hunter, so we'll go to upkeep. We draw Spectral Razor, which will help us try to defeat Wolfman Drew, at least, and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, a 3 of 6 encounter card is Hunting Shadow. You must not either choose one, spend one clue or take two damage. At this point we'll take the damage. Uh, first action, we'll move to East Town, because, yeah, uh, East Town lowers the cost to play an ally. There is one clue there and it is an easier uh, clue to get. Second action will play Alyssa Graham. Only costing two. So we still have three resources. Now we can investigate. Um, I'll Exhaust Alyssa Graham to look at the top card of the encounter deck. Just so we know. We get Obscuring Fog, so we really need to get this clue before that hits. So, uh, last action we will investigate, and I'm investigating 4 vs 2. And I'll go 5 vs 2, just in case. <laughs> Minus four, so we fail. That that is not good, but it is what it is. So no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw Olignot Pride, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, a four of six encounter card for this round is the Obscuring Fog. But um, I think I'll use the Ward of Protection here. So I'll take one horror and uh, actually take it on Alyssa Graham. And uh, we'll ignore that. Not the best uh, word of protection, but a uh, Ward of Protection, but it is what it is. We really need this clue. First action. We will investigate 4 versus 2. Minus 2, we succeed. Second action, we'll spend the clues. 
and we'll see what we get. Uh, we get Herman Collins, so Herman spawns at the graveyard. And uh, uh, let's mark Herman Collins over there. I think Herman is more easy to defeat, so uh, we'll head there later. And uh, last action, we'll actually play Codex of Ages. So you get, you get plus one willpower while there is token sealed here. When you see, you would reveal a chaos token from the chaos pack. This card Codex of Ages resolve the uh, Elder Sign token that was sealed here. If it were just revealed from the chaos pack, so this helps us uh, defeat. The, the Wolfman grew hopefully the, e more easily. So there is the Elder Sign. And that is our turn. No enemy actions. We go to upkeep. We draw a card. Uh, Bless Blade. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, one thing I forgot last round was to actually use Alisa, so I, I will do it a, a bit um, after that turn, but we'll do that so we know what's coming. Uh, mysterious chanting, so that's okay. So, okay, Alisa is ready now. So, uh, we add a doom, uh, 5 of 6, and the encounter card is the mysterious chanting, so we'll add to doom onto the nearest cultist enemy. It is Wolfman Drew. Won't advance the ag agenda yet. Or, yeah. And that's it. Uh, we'll move into downtown. Wolfman Drew will engage us. There are two clues here. It's proud of four. So we'll grab Wolfman a bit closer here. Uh, first action, uh, I mean the second action will be uh, Spectral Razor. So we really want to hit with this, so we deal three damage and we can try to punch uh, Wolfman Drew using the Elder Sign, hopefully. So uh, we add our willpower to the Test, so we, willpower is 5, uh, punch is 2, so we are uh, 7 versus 4. Minus 2, we deal 3 damage. Still going according to plan. Uh, last action, we'll just punch again. And uh, we have a 2. Elder Sign gives us... Uh, automatic success, so we don't want to commit anything. So we'll spend the co um, Elder Sign here. And uh, we don't have mu much to do, so we'll use the um, draw one card and gain one resource. And we get overpower and gain a resource, and we defeat Wolfman Drew. And now I have to check uh, We discard the Codex of Ages, but that's okay. It served its purpose to help us defeat Wolfman Drew, which was a tough one for Matteo without any combat spells we play. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We ready up, we draw uh, Eternal Slip, and we gain a resource. So. Eteral Slip could be useful. Choose a non-elite enemy at the revealed location after two connections away. Swap places with that enemy. Um, we don't really need to do that with uh, Herman Collins. And before we end our turn we and ready up, uh, we'll use Alisa to see what's coming. A false lead uh, that can search, so we don't even bother to remove it. Uh, at the ready step, we ready Alisa. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a Doom, which will advance the agenda and 
yeah, I totally forgot the Mask Hunter is coming next round. So, uh, we get the Mask Hunter on us. So, that is bad. We don't have a good way to deal with the Mask Hunter at the moment. And, uh, of course, we get the false lead with searches and obscuring fog. So, probably not investigating here anytime soon. So, Etrel Slip. Uh, choose a non elite enemy at a revealed location. After two connections away, swap places with the enemy. Doesn't engage, disengage us from the mask hunter. We really don't have good uh, cards to commit for this test, except. Um, we'll evade the Mask Hunter and we'll commit uh, Eteral Slip. So we are at least 4 versus 2 on this test. Uh, Cultist is a minus 2, so that's enough. And place one Doom on the nearest Cultist enemy, so that part is annoying. So this gets a Doom, but it is evaded at least. So, uh, we'll disengage. Second action, uh, we'll move to north side. There are two clues here, Shroud of Tree. Last action, I'll uh, investigate. Don't have anything to commit, but at least we have Alyssa. Uh, at this moment, I'll see what's coming. Uh, so, Wizard of the Order. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, place one Doom on Elisa to place the Wizard of the Order to the bottom of the deck because we don't have a good way to defeat that enemy and that will accumulate Doom and uh, speed up the game too much. So, uh, investigating 4 versus 3. Elder Sign, uh, we'll get a bonus action, and uh, we'll get the clue, so we'll investigate again, uh, 4 versus 3. Minus 3, no luck, the second time, but that's our turn, uh, no enemy action, we'll go to upkeep, uh, the mass counter readies. Um, We'll draw a card, Robes of Endless Night, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well... We'll add a Doom. The Encom... Yeah, I forgot to check. And I won't do it this time. So, Locked Door. Uh, that's the location with the most clues. So, Downtown is shrouded, and we into in obscuring fog and the doors are locked, so never gonna uh, get those clues from there or that victory point, but that's okay. Uh, first action we'll investigate, nothing to miss. We are investigating four versus three, minus one, that's enough. We'll grab this clue. Uh, second action we'll move. To Miss Katjanek University. Two clues here. No good way to investigate here. Then we will uh, spend the clues to reveal another cultist. And of course, it's Victoria Devro, but we don't have the resources, so we'll uh, have to uh, go there later to defeat Victoria with resources, probably. And the mass counter would have um, engaged us and hit us if we stayed there. So, uh, enemy face, the mass counter hunts here, upkeep, uh, we ready everything. At, uh, before that, we check the deck with Alyssa. It is an acolyte, so... We can punch the Acolyte and just spawn it to Riva Chan before we go defeat Herman Collins, maybe. So, 
we leave it there. So we ready Alyssa in the upkeep. So we draw a card. Um, as you're a flame, but a bit late, we need the resources to defeat uh, Victoria Devo. I think we are aiming to uh, defeat three cultists and call it a day. Uh, anything uh, above that is just bonus. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, first we add a Doom, a two of eight, then come the card is the Acolyte, which will spawn. I think we'll spawn it to River Town as we planned. And it gets a Doom on it. First action, we'll move to River Town, it engages us. Uh, we'll hit for our second action. We'll use overpower. We are 4 versus 3. Uh, we'll commit heavy first 2. So 5 versus 3. It is an elder sign. We'll get a bonus action. So we defeat uh, the cultist. That's great. Next we'll, oh yeah, and we succeeded, so we draw a card from our power, which is Hand of Faith. Uh, so, uh, that was the second action, we get a bonus action, we'll move. Then uh, Herman Collis engages us, uh, we'll take a uh, willpower test, I'll just test it. It is a plus one, so we succeed, we don't take the horror. Last action, we'll discard four cards to defeat Herman Collins, so... Mm, Hand of Fate... Uh, we are not playing the ropes, the Blessed Blade or Olive McBride, and probably not the Hand of Fate. So that's four cards, and uh, Herman Collins goes to the victory display. So, uh, we are getting there, uh, that is the investigation phase, enemy phase, mask hunter hunts here, upkeep, be ready, we draw perception and we gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round, oh yeah, <laughs> before that, uh, we'll, before we uh, ready everything, we'll check the counter card, it is an acolyte, I think that's okay. So we ready also Alyssa. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we add a doom. So we have four because Alyssa has one of eight. Encounter card was the acolyte. So we lose one turn and we want to spawn this away from us. So we spawn it at your house because we are not going there during this game anymore. So our turn is pretty simple, we move, we move to East Town and we move to uh, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, okay, so we can't move to downtown because the mass counter would move to north side, which we don't want. So last action, we will actually just gain a resource call it a day for this round, so enemy phase, uh, mass counter moves here, upkeep, we are ready, we get reckless assault and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, uh, again I forgot to use Alyssa Graham, so we'll just do it uh, a bit out of turn, so we exhausted before our ready phase. Uh, hunting Knight count, I will just get rid of that. We are ending the game pretty soon, so this goes to the bottom of the deck. And we read it, and now we are at the Mythos phase, so we add one Doom. Oh yeah. Uh, we are... Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, so next round is seven. So we have time to resign, hopefully. Oh, oh, damn. One, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So scratch that. We'll <laughs> we won't do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the last turn actually. So we get the ninth count, and we'll just tank it. And we run out of time, but it is what it is. So we want to go defeat uh, Victoria de Gros, and that's the game. So uh, the Night Count engages us. I totally forgot Mass Hunter and this Acolyte also have Doom on them. So first action, we'll move. We take one damage and one horror. We move, we take one damage and one horror. Uh, Victory engages us. We parlay for our last action. So one, two, three, four, five. And uh, Victoria Devro goes to the victory display. And we go to the enemy fate. Oh yeah, uh, we don't take from the parling, but... Um, Yeah, so mass counter hunts here. Night count hits us for one damage and one horror. We'll just take it with Teo. So five and a five. And that is the game. So we ready up. We draw a card. Haunted. Well, we, the game ends either way. And we gain a resource. So I won't even go to the next round. So we will add Doom. We Doom out. So uh, we take too long and we get resolution 2. Which means that we would write um, that, that it is past midnight into the campaign log. Which would make the next scenario a bit harder. Because we would start with Doom on the agenda. Or something uh, if I remember correctly. But... This went pretty, pretty well, you know, considering the deck. We got three uh, cultists into the victory display. We are alive. Uh, we got one and two experience from the location. So a total of five experience for Matteo. So not bad at all. Uh, I think considering the deck, this was <laughs> a pretty smooth, uh, pretty smooth game altogether. So, uh, that was Matteo in the Eye of Chaos series. Hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.